Hey there. I saw a question by Eric um, on this um, Cinema 4D forum or Cinema 4D group on Facebook. And um, I posted something by uh, Noseman here that uh, it's a really cool tutorial. He uses fields to, to achieve this. But I think this can be achieved with displacement um, also. So uh, I'm going to just create a, a simple video and, and try to do it. Okay, so so I have a redshift material here, like a simple one, and I just created a ramp. Um, and uh, actually, I, I was gonna do this like this, but I'm I'm actually not using this. <laughs> sorry, um, sorry. I'm gonna delete this shader. I don't need it actually. I'm gonna create a normal Cinema 4D shader. Put it there and uh, just try and uh, create some ramp here so a gradient and uh, just gonna grab one of these presets and uh, add some turbulence here okay so this is not great yet but I'm going to um, change some settings here so let's see the scale let's lower the scale um, lower the octaves okay so I start having something similar to that um, I'm going to change the resolution here just so I have a better feedback I don't think it changed much anyway um, and let's see maybe something like this okay let's up the segments this is too much Okay, so I'm gonna apply a displacer here and just gonna grab this gradient from here, put it there. Okay, yeah, we have something. Okay. So I want this to be black and white actually. So okay, let's change this. Maybe there would be a better way to do this. Uh, I'm gonna do it by hand. Something like this black white black white black white no need for this guy okay so we have something here let's see let me look at the geometry I think the resolution of the map is very low I, I don't know exactly why that would be but maybe see I don't know how to change that okay let's see if I apply I need to up the segments here maybe yeah okay so what if I grab this guys and do like cubic okay now we start having something yeah maybe like this I 
just need to pull these guys a bit more. Okay, this is not exactly what I was looking for, but it's getting there, I think. So just double the knots here. And distribute them. Okay, I think with some work, you know, we can get there, right? So if uh, it's not exactly the same thing, but I think if, if you play a bit around with the the actual ramp or the the turbulence settings and all that, maybe if you add a smooth. Um, Let's see. This is cool. Actually, let me see what the relax does. Okay, I think the smooth is cool. Up the iterations a bit. Definitely need a bit more. Let's see if I don't crash this. Okay. Now, if I animate this, what happens? Can I do that? Yeah. See, I, I normally don't use this one. The the redshift ramp is a bit different. There's some there's some differences there. Okay, so frequency. Huh. That's cool, isn't it? Okay, 